Hey guys, welcome to She Gets Real. This is Allison. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please, please do. And like the video, share the video. It helps with all the algorithms and all the good stuff so I can keep doing this. It helps me. I don't know if it helps one person, but it's very much appreciated and I'm very grateful. And click the, or hit the little bell thing down there so you get notified. Thank you. Today we talk in respect. Is day five, tip five of how to double your tips during after COVID. We all know COVID has been a huge game changer to the industry, service industry, and I think it's a great opportunity for us to learn and benefit from it and change it going forward. Maybe restructure it a little bit. Um, today I wanted to talk about respect in the workplace, mostly with your coworkers. I mean, the customer is obvious, um, but I know that not everybody at the restaurant likes me. I know that I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I, you know, I'm a firm believer that I know the respect is to be earned. However, I'm going to respect somebody I just meet. I'm respect everybody until it's, until you put me in a position where it's absolutely not warranted. Anyway, um, respecting the role of each person in the restaurant is imperative. Every single person that you work with from the owner to the GM, to the manager, to the hostess, to the server, to the dish pit, to the garbage handler. Every single person in that restaurant plays a role in how much money goes in your pocket. If you just think, I think about it like every person that I come in contact with in that restaurant has their hand in my pocket and either can contribute to my pocket. That's creepy, I know, but I don't mean like literally, but kind of literally. They can either be putting money in my pocket or they could be taking money out of my pocket and they each have that power. Absolutely. If the garbage isn't emptied, then the restaurant's a mess and people don't want to eat there and they're not happy when they're there. If the bathroom's not clean, if the food isn't good, if the food isn't timely, if the dishes aren't clean, if the ambiance isn't good, if the music isn't good, I mean, the air, I mean, every single thing that happens in that restaurant, somebody has control over and that controls how much money I make at the end of the day. You can only do the dance out front so much. You can only, you know, work your magic in the dining room so much, but everything else is out of your control. So respect has been huge for me at work. Whether you like me or not, I will always treat the role, the position that you hold with respect because I understand how imperative it is to my money. You know, so when it comes to the kitchen staff, I double check my orders before I put them in. I ask a million questions and get on everybody's nerves. And it's because I would rather ask the question, even if I think I know the answer, than put the order in wrong. Because then it becomes 50 conversations during a busy time. Instead of just asking one question and getting an answer to the question, I will, and I've done that. I've done, I've put it in and just not asked the question because somebody's been aggravated or pissed off or didn't want to answer it. And then that in turn becomes 50 conversations because then you got to tell who's working the past, who has to tell the kitchen, who has to tell the cook, who has to tell the person at salad, all because the dressing, I mean, just ask the damn question. In the end, it just makes life easier. But I do all those things because once that order gets back to them nine times out of 10, in any given day, probably almost every day, I'm going to screw up. And when I screw up, I'm going to need to lean on somebody to help me out. You know, last night, prime example. You know, I made a mistake and forgot to put sauce on the... Actually, I didn't... In the end, it wasn't my mistake, but my customer decided at the last minute, hey, I want the sauce on the side. Oh, crap. So I run back there, and it gives me the luxury and the opportunity to say, hey, I'm so sorry, but can, I messed up. Can you go, please make sure... And they had to redo it, and they rushed it. So it probably came out quicker, you know, than had we worked it the other way. And that's a luxury, I think, that you get to have that kind of camaraderie or even, like I said, even with two people who don't care for each other very much, as long as the role is respected, it can make it so much easier. And I'm going to make a mistake almost every single day, if not more than one. And so being able to step back there and kind of cross the line and say, oh my God, I totally screwed this one up. Can you save me here? Makes a difference in my tip. So at the end of the day, you don't have to go out with your coworkers. You don't have to have drinks with your coworkers. You don't even have to speak to your coworkers other than when you're in and on the job. But I think that it will show in your money. I know it has mine. I know I can think of 25 times in the last 
eight months that I have had to go back there and eat crow and say, oh, can you help me out? I've done this, I've done that. You know, I put this in wrong or I forgot this and I get busy and, and it's been a game changer for me, a game changer like all the other ones, you know, it's about that being honest and respect and, you know, um, it will make a difference at the end of the day. So if you just really, when you get to work, I think that every single person that works at a restaurant should have to play a part in the role. I think the cooks and the line, the chef should have to come out and serve and deal with the public because it's not always a wonderful treat and it's a dance and it's a beautiful dance if done correctly, in my opinion, to watch somebody go and take you know, a table and completely own run. Um, it's like twirl it. I don't know. That's crazy. But from the big time they sit down till the time they walk out of the restaurant, you have absolute power over that experience. And I think that's a really cool thing. Um, and I think that they should have to do that, at least try it. And I think that I know what it's like behind the line. And I know that servers, I listen to them all the time are like, I don't know why the hell it's taking so long. And I, they just, they're not doing anything. And people don't understand and I forget it takes time for things to cook it takes time for things to be done correctly if you want a half-assed meal here but that's not what you want and so I you know being in the dish pit last night we had no dishwasher so I jumped behind the line I love the dish pit by the way I love to play with the water and it's a mess and I'm 12 but I enjoy it back there and I wasn't busy in the beginning of my shift so I got back there and washed dishes and just jumped in and you know, at the end of the night, I got to thank you. And hey, they, you know, made a big difference. And that's what it's all about, I think. Stepping in, helping each other out, and making the most of the situation. So I think respect is a huge thing at work. Respect the role. You don't have to respect the person, but just understand that every single person that works in that building has their hand in your pocket and can make or break you. Can put money in it or take it out. So I say be the bigger person and learn the role and play the role. So hope you guys have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. I work a 10 or 11 hour shift today. It should be a good money maker. I'm a closer. So if I get a chance, I'll hop on here. If not, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good one.